Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. In today's video, we're gonna be continuing the exploration through the Dark Forest 5. Now, we actually just got into here. I wanna do some summons. You can see the Primal Awakening is right here. So we are in the zone where the Primal Lord is at, which means we're gonna have the opportunity to hopefully fight him when he comes up. And I believe that is 21 hours he is going to be up. So if you haven't made progression this far, it is really a grind. And one thing that I've noticed going through here is especially with the Resonating Hall, it's incredibly difficult and time consuming to gain levels. I think kind of in comparison to AFK Arena, how fast you really do level up in that game going through the Resonating Crystal, but also the heroes itself. Here, it seems like it's very hard to get a lot of copies of heroes, and it's taking me an incredible amount of time. As you can see right here, Odie, getting the hero focus unlocked to build him up a little bit further. Again, when it comes to the overall investment, um, it's been very, very um, fun, exciting. I, I don't know how you want to say it, but overall, it's been a very interesting experience to get into this game. Now, longevity wise i don't know exactly how well it's going to work i think they're going to have a lot more end game stuff i love how the boss formations open world exploration like we said before not a huge fan of but overall it works because there are so many other battle modes especially this dream realm i'm loving the dream realm with the iteration or the the reset every 24 hours to a different boss that is awesome the honor duel is a really cool place to play Arena, the Arcane Labyrinth, uh, Labyrinth's okay. Tower Climb, of course, and then there is more that is coming soon. You can see right now the battle drills are down, but they are gonna be up soon. And a big shout out to Vanguards. Now we are on level four, so we did level up again. And again, a big shout out to all of the guildies. Now we are monitoring the guild on a regular basis. If you're AFK for two or more days, we are removing players. So make sure you're keeping an eye on where you're at now looking right here we are on number 27 so we're doing pretty good got a couple glory points in there but member ranking we are unranked at this point but again i'm very happy with the progression that we're making analytica is just absolutely crushing it which is cool to see with danger gray um really really cool to see how many players are embracing this game and exactly how far it's going now in here you do get rewards which again is pretty cool to get some extra rewards out of a bunch of different places and as I've pro progressed essentially through here, I've gotten to the point where there's a lot of places that you get a lot of mats and materials from, which is really cool. Um, we continue to build out a lot more and I actually just got a copy of a new hero, but I wanna hop in here and I wanna do the summons. Summons. Um, so looking at a recruitment store, I bought out all of our little Stargazer pieces right there. We are buying those out on a regular basis. Now the guild store, I did the exact same. I spent my diamonds, I bought all of these out. Now of course the daily and the monthly I would buy out. Again, they're at a discounted price, but the Stargazer is going to be the priority looking for um, Rainier is the one that we're looking for. And as we do get a little bit more in the guild store, we'll be able to pick up that copy of Rainier. Now out of the arena store in here, I kind of went back and forth. Right now I'm building out Cecilia. So looking again, primary heroes in here. Cecilia is really good. Igor is good. Um, Brion is very good. Um, Rowan and Brutus pretty good. The rest of these kind of take it with a grain of salt. When it comes to the Wilders, when it comes to Light Bears, not a huge priority within those heroes. Dream Store, I am still build, build, building and buying out Odie all of the time. But let's hop in here, guys, and do these summons. Now, I like doing the summons in here. Vela or Vela is the one that I did not go in there with the ability to actually summon her, which I think we only have 12 days left. Then she will come back into the wish list. So I changed up my wish list a little bit. You can see I dropped Brutus out of here. I just wanted one single copy of Brutus. So we had the ability to have the immunity shield. We have Iran on here as well. Still looking for Thorin as well as a few other heroes. Um, that I haven't seen, unfortunately. So I'm hoping maybe with what, the one or two summons we can do out of here. And we've been doing this every day as we've been making progression and as we've been getting um, essentially more diamonds in here, more summons in here. We've been doing the recruitments every single day to just continue progression. Because of course the 10 summons are what you wanna focus on just because of the sheer cost in here. And boom, we get three more purples just like that. Of course, there is Coco. So I got one single copy um, of Coco. A lot of players were saying the hero works incredibly well. That is the reason why I swapped out and dropped in the wish list. And then Vipira, again, another hero that I've kind of used here and there. Very, very successful within some other game modes. But overall, we're going to have to see in another copy of Odie. Guys, we're going to continue building out Odie all that we can. Like I said, recruitment wise, that's all that we do have. But epic recruitments, we have 11. So I might change this up in here a little bit. 
Um, again, kind of looking at a few different heroes. Thorin, we are still looking for, which is kind of crazy. Um, I think it's Sh Shakri, Shakir, might be Shakir that is in here as well, um, that we're kind of looking for. And then I believe that is, I believe that is Vela. Is that Vela? Might not, might not be Vela. Um, again, some of the heroes that are kind of the off heroes that I really don't see, and I haven't obtained them yet, so they would actually be in the book. And it is a light bearer. I think it is right up here. It's not Vela. So there you go, Atlanta. Again, this is a hero I haven't heard of. I haven't seen any tier list, any wish list, anything for that hero in general. So I wouldn't recommend dropping that hero in the epic recruitment or in the tier list really at all. But again, looking at what we have right here, um, pretty solid. So Sia building, Thorin we're building, Smokey and Mirky we're building, um, Tim, Tim Sia we are building as well. So they are really good. Let's see, what do we got? 18 more to get this hero, guys. This could be the summon to actually pull it. Then we'll hop over to our Stargazer, see if we can get another one and let's see, boom. There it is. So did we get Thorin? It is. Oh, I want to see because there is Coco. It is Smokey again. So we go Thorinless again in here. So we got double support heroes, which is pretty good. Got some other resources out of there. But again, that goes back to 24 or more to go. So unfortunately, we did not see a copy of Thorin again. We are still Thorinless, guys. And again, when it comes to the primary heroes, there is Corin. I would definitely take that. But overall, when it comes to the primary heroes, Thorin is the one that we are looking for. Stargazer selection, we are looking for Rainier, like I said a little bit earlier. That is the hero, 34 more. We have five more summons in here. And we're just gonna do the, sim the, the simple summons or the one summons because you don't get a discount if you're doing more than this, but you could pull a pretty good hero out of these summons. Hopefully we see something Looks like it's just gonna be a bunch of acorns, but we did get another key right there, um, which of course is gonna allow us to level up a little bit further when it comes to the artifacts, so pretty cool. And again, that's five more right down the drain, bring us a lot closer for that pity summon. I'm hoping we don't have to go the full pity summon on this one before we can actually get a copy. So let's check out the hall. Smokey, boom, that is another one for Smokey. Legendary to legendary plus, and there is the skill. Again, as we continue to build these out, Smokey and Mirky increase 6% uh, during battle. If three or more non-summoned allies other than Smokey are within the aroma, um, they increase their attack by an additional 9%. So I usually run Smokey in the back and Smokey is run with Cecilia. Smokey is run with usually um, Odie, a couple other heroes that will keep this in range, which of course is gonna be huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and build him up because again, when you look at tier list, there is Mythic to build him up with a lot more power, allowing him to essentially keep everyone alive. That's what we're looking for. And here again are the little gems that we're using to go ahead and hero focus. So now it goes to eight and 12, and I don't think we have any more to build it up. Nope, we need 20. So we're gonna have to wait as we continue to pick those up. And of course, once we get to Mythic Plus, we'll have another Withering Potion in there, building them out a little bit further. Who else did we get? Did we get anyone? We got a couple copies there for Coco, again, this is a hero that I haven't used. A lot of players were saying in the Mauler Tower that this was an absolute priority hero that we did want to build up. Then looking at our quest, finish out, there we go, our first mythic hero, which is awesome. You guys always remember your first, and there it is, guys. So Smokey and Mirky, definitely worth getting it and building this out. So I'm gonna go through and actually finish out and try to push a lot in here. But every time that I make some advancements, I hop right in here and I go through and do this because again, if I'm sitting here, if I'm playing for, you know, 30, 45 minutes, if I play for an hour, this is going to continuously level up this part of AFK Arena, which is exactly what we want to do um, because we want to make sure that we're getting these levels gained up. And then of course, right there, they're in the aroma, which means a big, big damage boost there. We're gonna be able to burn through, I feel like a lot of these levels, having a stronger Odie, having a stronger Smokey. Um, should work pretty well, should go pretty well. And again, I know D2, big shout out to him. He's already pushing, I believe, almost 400 AFK stages, which is kind of incredible to see. Again, we're not super competitive in this game. We're not really heavy pay to win. Um, I did buy the monthly card. So I similar to what I do in AFK Arena, I did pick up those monthly cards. That way we could make a little bit more progression in there. Now we did just get these a little bit further. I'm trying to keep my tanks alive 
which is the reason why I'm running this specific in there. Um, because again, we're trying to keep those tanks alive. It's very, very difficult, even with Smokey being on a higher level. As you can see, boom, there's a lot of healing going on with this hero, guys. And then um, Tamisi, Tamisa, uh, really cool, runs back and forth, guys, and just crowds controls like crazy, which is a really, really cool aspect. That's one of the very effective tanks that I have here. So essentially, I have one to face tank, and then I have one that kind of runs back and forth, and of course, just does a lot of crowd control. Battles like this, pretty easy. We can burn through it usually pretty quick. Right there, Smokey got interrupted. Now, that is something that we've talked about a few times now, is if Smokey is interrupted. So if Smokey does get hit with crowd control, that aroma does stop, um, which is pretty tough. But again, I cannot wait until I can actually drop Thorin in here, drop Entendra out. Gonna have to wait and see exactly what comes of it, but we're at 280 already. 281 is completed at this point, which again means that we're gonna be able to make a lot more progression. AFK rewards, I cannot stress it enough how important it is to continue pushing this aspect every single day with the progression you're making in here is of course gonna yield you um, more experience and that's what we're really looking for. Not only the essence to build them up a little bit, but as you can see right here, getting more experience per hour means that you're just gonna progress essentially exponentially faster with what you're going in here, what you're doing on a daily basis. Again, the huge, huge reason to really push this is the rewards and of course the gear that you get out of there as well. Now, Igor, I don't have Igor built either, but he's another one or either, and that is another one that I do want to go ahead and build out a little bit. But all right, guys, so that's gonna do it for a little bit of gameplay in our summons today. Definitely making some more progression. Have to get Thorin, still trying again all the time to get that copy of Thorin. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty soon that we pick that up. But again, that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.